We are going on an adventure and we're ready to go. GoPro check. What is journey to what? Journey to Cram Shanatine. Cram Shanatine. Yes, whatever that means. Yeah, that would. Do it. Hi friends, so I have my next violin lesson tonight and it's been over two weeks since I last had a class because July 4th was the first Tuesday of the month and then last Tuesday our nephew stayed the night so I wanted to spend time with him so I've just been practicing in between and hopefully I get to learn a new song tonight. <laughs>
friends. We're doing it a little different this time. I am in my car waiting for a drawing class to start, which I have about 30 minutes before. And uh, currently it's raining and there's lightning and thunder all around me. I'm also in the parking lot for Ikea and I'm resisting the urge. It's actually helping that it's raining right now to prevent me from going inside and spending money. You're welcome, Adam. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I just wanted to talk about my journey to health and wellness, mental wellness. The reason that I started my YouTube channel in the first place is because I want to become a better person and I want to grow. And I was very depressed and very like far from where I wanted to be in life. And also I didn't feel like I was progressing in anything. I had to reevaluate and kind of start over. Like I canceled my kickboxing classes, which kind of, you know, started to get a little stale. I love them so much, but I felt like it was the same thing over and over again and I needed to switch things up. I also experienced a very bad burnout. It's something I recognized when it happened and I was so stressed out and burned out. So March of this year, I signed up for four chalking events. I also work a full-time job. And when I signed up for all of these events, I didn't take into account that I actually need a day off and rest. I worked myself 19 days straight without a break. And by the fourth chalk festival, that's the one I did with my niece. And I, I just feel bad because I couldn't, I wasn't allowing myself to have fun because I was on edge and stressed out. I recognize that now and I want to prevent doing that in the future and make sure that I space out my events as I work around my regular schedule, but I recognize that I, I really did burn myself out and I was almost afraid to do any new projects, except I did another event in May, but that was just one event. It was one day. It was actually a five hour like competition type thing. And like I said, I've been doing meditation and it's really helped wonders because my brain was just too crowded with all the thoughts and this, that, and the other, and what ifs, and should haves, and so I've come to realize that, and I feel like I've come a long way in the past month, posting videos, showing my progress. I feel like I've been more at peace with my life and ready to take on more challenges and things. Just focusing on what sparks joy, focusing on what makes me happy, and that's playing the violin, that's creating art, which I'm done with the violin now so I can move on to just practicing like I am tonight. This opportunity just kind of fell into my lap and a friend invited me to a drawing class and I was like, yes, of course, sign me up. And it just it happened at the right time. I got the new computer, so I've been playing around with more video editing and it's really exciting the things that I can create in the future. And I have my next project of a travel vlog that I'm gonna make of my trip to Italy with my mom that we took in 2018. It was right before I met Adam. I have that coming and it's very exciting. So that's a little bit about what's going on and how I overcame burnout. Just taking one day at a time, but also making sure that I don't take on too much or let it overwhelm me. So that's, that's a little bit about what I've been doing. What up? It's really hot. No, my face. Oh. <laughs> oh wait.